got in low and got loose and chased it up a bit. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he got to my right front and got him tight in the wall and knew he was going to retaliate. So like I said, I mean, he, he had a reason to be mad, but uh, his race wasn't over um, until you know he retaliated. So it is what it is. Um, just, uh, yeah, you know, this aggression turned into frustration and um, he, re he re retaliated. Is retaliation, Kyle, at that speed an acceptable thing? I think with everything that's been going on here lately with um, head injuries and, um, you know, all that, you know, fractured ligaments and, and all that, I, I don't think it's uh, probably the right thing to do, but, you know, hey, we've all done it. Maybe not all of us, but, but I, I mean, I have. I've let the emotions get the best of me before, too. So just, um, I'm sure, you know, I, I know he's probably still upset, but I'm sure with everything going on, he'll, he'll know that he made a mistake uh, in, in the retaliation part, and um, I'm sure you know, he'll, he'll think twice about the next time. What about the off-track retaliation when he came up and tried to shove you? Did that catch you off guard? No, I mean, I see him walking over, so I, I figured he would do something. So just, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, just, like I said, he, he had every right to be upset. Um, I'd rather him do that than... Uh, then tear up you know, our, our cars in a, in a dangerous matter. Um, so, yeah, just uh, is what it is. Glad to see both of these guys are okay, but clearly some very, very upset drivers down here, Parker. Right, Marty, and the playoff repercussions for the